The Goethe Museum Association was founded on December 16, 1969. Arnle Jakobsen, who was for many years the heart and soul of the association, served as chairperson of the association from its establishment in 1969 all the way to 1995. Over the years, the museum continually expanded until today, the visitor can experience a unique journey through Faroese history, from the mythic past all the way up to the beginning of the 20th century. In Blasastova, a restored farmer's home, one can experience the so-called farming period, when wool was indeed Faroese gold and the revered coin of the realm. In the hay shed are all types of outdoor farming tools and implements for work around the village or in the surrounding fields, as well as tools for home construction. In the cellar of the neighboring home, known as Jakobstova, are the foundation remnants of an early settlement, Trondagrund, dating back to the 7th century. Literally, in the midst of the oldest preserved settlement in the Faroes, rises Goethe Church, built in 1833. When you visit, ask why there are so many nails in Goethe Church. The tale bears many lessons, even for today's world. In 2008, Nesta, the boathouse, was renovated to display everything related to life at sea. The museum features excellent examples of Faroese boats and the equipment used on board. Also in 2008, the statue of Viking chieftain Tranda Regerta was unveiled. Well-known sculptor Hans Paula Olsen created this distinctive statue, which is truly worth a visit. The one-hour guided tour of this historic site ends at the fisherman's home, Glivra Hanasaius, where an evocative painting exhibition may be enjoyed along with a delicious cup of coffee. Welcome to Blasestova.